Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about why cheating in Magic the Gathering is probably so common. Uh, cheating is definitely an issue in Magic the Gathering uh, anywhere from pre-release, draft, FNM, GPs, and Pro Tours even. People have been caught cheating. And the only time we really know about cheating is when they've been caught on camera. Uh, definitely at FNM, it's really hard to accuse someone of cheating because you need a lot of proof. And if there is not a video camera recording, really difficult to uh, see, to verify. And many people say, oh, you're, you're claiming they're cheating because you're salty. And then there's also the reverse cheating, just like Sato or, um, not Sato, someone else, a famous Japanese player was uh, got caught for messing with his opponent's deck and then claiming that his opponent messed with his deck or giving his deck to your opponent and just like, hey, this is my deck. And your opponent's like, oh, cool. And then he'll like go to cut it because that's natural. And then he'll raise his hand, judge, and then the person will get banned, right? That's, the thing is people cheat at that level on camera is because they always cheat. And it's such a habit. So of course the person knows, hey, I'm being videotaped. And can I really, you know, cheat faster than the camera? Like. No, but I'm gonna try. That can be the only logical thing. Um, either it's out of habit or they really do feel like they're so good at cheating that even when they're video recorded, they can get away with it. And that's a very interesting mentality to have. But it's why cheating is so common in FNM and pre-release and draft is because there are no video cameras. There's no verification, there's no um, there's no way for you to 100% make sure, certain that that person is cheating. Uh, in the cases of the Pro Tours and GPs, Alex Borcini, he gets caught on video. Unless there's video, there's really no evidence. So cheating is very rampant uh, because it happens even on video. So imagine how much it happens not on video. And I've you know gone into many details. One of the biggest cheats, in my opinion, is when people bring cards to pre-release that they don't have in their seal pool. And a lot of you be like, oh, how did they get the cards early? They don't need to get the cards early because just like A for Revolt, some of the cards are going to come from the previous set, Kaladesh. So then they bring in all the gear hogs, they bring in all the planeswalkers. It's just like, dude, you have like two booster packs of, Ka of Kaladesh. How do you pull double mythics, double planeswalkers? I remember, um, what was that dragon? Um, a really good dragon. It was, it was well, all dragons are very good, but this one, Storm Breath Dragon. The dude had two Storm Breath Dragons. I was like, all right, cool. Saturday pre release is oh, by far the worst because people have already opened cards at that point. And the dude has two Storm Breath Dragons and two Elf Spells. And it's like, you had four packs. You know, you had six packs. How is this possible? How does this even happen? But, you know, guess what? He won the game. Like, he won everything in the game. So there's many ways that you can cheat, and I feel like the mentality of a cheater is I'm sitting here, and I'm not really happy about playing this game, so at least I should get value from it. And they feel like it makes them better, because they win. And a lot of times, they don't really... Cheaters are this way. They don't really win at life, right? They are probably the... the biggest losers at life. So when they are giving the opportunity to win something like a children's card game, which Magic the Gathering is designed to be, they cheat because it makes them feel bigger and better. Um, they can brag about it. At the end of the, time, end of the day, some of the cheats are so obvious, I just feel sad for them. Like, I feel sad. Uh, when I watched that video of, about Liberty Coins on the channel, the biggest, worst cheater ever, I feel sad for the guy wearing a lime green Under Armour Clearly, he actually doesn't play sports. Like, he does not look like he plays sports, but he has the Under Armour hoodie. And every time he, you know, puts, you know, the Vampiric Tutors, every time he fetches, it's a Vampiric Tutor on top of the deck. It's even better than Vampiric Tutor because he doesn't pay any life for it, right? So we're talking about one of the best cards in the history of Magic. And he made, he's cheating to make every fetch land better than the best card, one of the best cards in Magic. And he, you know, he shuffles with the deck, doesn't give his opponent, he, he picks, you know, the top the card that he needs. Oh, I need a Geist this turn. All right. 
and it's so crazy to me that exact cheat where um, and you I would recommend watching the video the opponent thought seizes him or finds what his hit. somehow an opponent is discarding a card which he chooses cryptic command which he even mentions in the video that he uh, he known it was guys he would pick guys so not only is it like he's picking a random he's picking the card he needs and putting on the top of his deck your opponent cannot interact with it because it's not in your hand though even though I thought sees you the guys is never in your hand it's always on top of your deck so there's no way for me to beat you that's pretty pretty nasty like you can never win against a player like that so I feel like it's kind of depressing when I uh, see people cheating because it just means that they are very big losers anyway bye guys in real life of course